Match day 27 of the Cinch Premiership saw Celtic returning to Fir Park, 5 points adrift from Rangers in the race for the title, against the Motherwell side which has been like a box of chocolates of late. You never know what you're going to get. Also I must remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already as this is the best place on the internet to find dogs and tears. Both meetings this season had been tightly contested with light drama so I headed to Far Park with mixed emotions with the hope that the steel men could end the Celtic hoodoo that has been also well documented. <laughs> So my thoughts today, Celtic, I don't see dropping points for a second game in a row. We're playing against a team that is a wounded animal. Rangers of course being five points clear of them in the table at the moment after yesterday's win against Hearts. If we get a point it's a bonus but I think we'll get beat 3-1. Come on the rail. Ah, oh, you bastard. checking for a possible penalty there was nothing in that I have no idea who that is potentially a fool hey, get Yes. 
I think we completely deserve to be ahead. Like we've had a couple of chances to take the lead earlier on. We had that offside goal, and then I think we've had the better chances. So so far, so good. Just got to keep at it because we've been guilty for having a really good first half in the last couple of weeks, and then just fading away. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Won the well. And here come the good guys, followed by Celtic. Motherwell! Go on. Oh. Taylor. the ball as well, coming off.
Oh, lovely ball. It's the best thing I've seen Ollie Shaw do since that assist against Dundee. This is bed wetting stuff for your nerves. Come on! He's not gonna chase it. We're happy for a point now. No, but our team is delighted for a point. Which is shite. So we're just sitting back, letting them have it. And then we just sit back to the second half. Textbook motherwell. Absolutely textbook motherwell. They've not been the better team over 90 minutes. I hate being right, but I've absolutely called this game. Down to a team. I don't think it was offside, but it'd be a nice bonus if it was. Yeah, no. Our arsehole's giving us that false hope once more. Can he trust them? Can't trust Motherwell to do anything. What a first half performance, being 1 0 up. Arguably, it should have been more. And. Second half once again costs us. Home time. Today hurt. Badly, but I'm used to it. 1 0 up. I thought we were the better team in the first half. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Considering we got beat 3 1. I don't know what happened at half time, but the substitution of Kyogo and Ida changed things. Uh, Ida was a handful and got a brace, and like, Celtic created enough chances to win about three or four games in that second half but that's our own doing because we decided to sit back i think i alluded to that at half time actually because we have a very bad uh trend at the moment of playing really well in the first half and then just dying off in the second and that cost us the game today we are in a league in which we play against celtic and we play so well for so long it only needs to be about 15 or 20 minutes of Celtic playing close to their A game and they'll still win the game. That's just how it is. Uh, we definitely didn't deserve anything off that second half. I mean, up until the 60th minute, I still think we still had a great chance of getting something from the game. But then the way we started playing, we sat off, allowed pressure to mount on us and, God... Finally, in the end, well, also the, the substitutions were questionable. I'm not going to say anything because if I've said a few things on Twitter already and people are already jumping down my throat about my opinion on, for example, Stephen O'Donnell didn't cover himself in any glory uh, when he came on. Uh, I thought Adam Devine was very solid and I would have kept him on the park because he was really good uh, today. Um... And then, of course, it was a straight swap for him. 
and also Ollie Shaw coming on uh, and I think all he did was win one header and we just didn't do enough. I thought our best performers, Spittle, Mugabe had a great game, Lennon Miller, his turn for the goal was really good. I thought Bear had a great first half hour and then I think he just sort of waned away as well. But uh, like I, I, I can't really fault Liam Kelly for any of the goals we conceded. The first goal was a header out of his reach, in which I, I think Ida was taller than the boy that was marking him. The second goal was bad because we defensively switched off and Ida just waltzed in and connected with the cross. And the third goal, well, we're, we're trying to chase for an equaliser and look what happens. But yeah, anyway, 3-1 defeat. I don't have any complaints about the score, although we should have been further ahead in the first half. And if we had been, well, we might have lost 3-2. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you Celtic fans that are only here to see me weep can uh, subscribe and, you know, enjoy some of my other content. We've got Rangers next Saturday. Hopefully we batter them. Not for your behalf, for ours. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Take care.